This is where I'm at now. Um, I didn't like the light gray cement. No one is because um, I plan on putting colorful fish in here and I want them to stand out. I don't want them to blend in with the light background. And for some reason, the light background, I mean the light color, you see a lot, a lot more edges. The dark, you don't. It, it blends in a little better. I got two holes. I'm just playing around with the stuff I put in there. I got the two holes for um, with a return from the filter is going to be the pumps are going to pump it out of here. I just got to find something to put in there that's going to be good. I want to try to get find something that's going to be adjustable. I can point it in any direction I want. That's what's holding me up with that. What I wanted to do before I put concrete on is put aeration tubes. I wanted to have some air on the bottom, but the only reason I decided not to do it was because um, air stones clog, and after a while, I won't be able to get to the air stones. So um, I figured if I just put the um, tubes the, into the you know, down to the bottom, I could just pump the air through it, you know, and try to adjust the, the, the volume and stuff, but I still don't like those big air bubbles. I went through a, a bunch of old medical stuff that used to be my mother's, and she had, like, a lot of leftover stuff. This tube turns into two small tubes. And I just broke off the edge, I mean, the part that goes into the nostrils. I just pulled them off. And it comes out too small, the hoses or tubes. I think that will be a lot better. I think the, the air would come out a little, little um, a lot tinier than it would be when it's pumped out of a, the big size of the hose, the, the, the big hose. Um, now I had a problem. I already put the concrete on. So what, I, what I'm doing now is I'm actually, what do you call it? Um, concrete and in place. And right now, I got a tube that goes back here, and it runs down here, the, the, the small part of the tube, see? It goes under this concrete and in there. It took some work to, like, stuff, and I made a really stiff concrete to where it was actually, like, powder or clay on my hand, and I packed it in. Um, I ended here because I don't want to pull this and break it off. Um, not, not that I ended it there. I stopped there for now. I'm going to continue and, you know, find a, a positive way up to the top without... Being too noticeable. I got the other side of it. It comes in. A, it splits into two pieces. Of course, for the nostrils. One's going there, and I got one coming here, in the hopes of letting the air, like the bubbles, crawl up the the side over here. It's gonna like travel up there, maybe you know, spread out, whatever. Over here, I'm hoping that it's gonna go up, and it's gonna get trapped around these rocks. You know, flow around. It's gonna come up here. It's gonna be interesting to find out where it's gonna go, and if it's gonna pop out here. You know. We'll see how that goes. I got another one over here. I ran the line over here. You can see the hose. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see the hose coming out. I might snip it off to where it ends right here and just bubbles up here and flows this way, whatever, up the side of that. The other side of that tube is going to be over here. And I'm gonna put it here so it can just flow out. However, I packed the cement in there. I gotta, I gotta pack that because when I did this part, this would have put a lot of stress on it if I would have bent it back. So I put it here. And when this is all hard, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push that in deeper with some more concrete, or cement mix, whatever you want to call it. Then I'm gonna travel that up, find a path up there. And I also did it back here too. I got one that's gonna be down here in the bottom. That should make a nice display of bubbles, not sure. One's gonna be under here. The only problem with this, it only had a certain length. It's maybe like 18 inches on each side, so I was limited to which way I was going. I gotta now put one over here, let it go up the side up there, and I'll probably just put the other piece of the tube here and just flow over. Then I think I'm gonna put run some tubes Sticking out the bottom, if I put concrete on the bottom, maybe have a hole or two somewhere where just air just comes up. 
I it's just going to look like, I guess, like, you know, how the bottom of lakes air sometimes per, um, percolate from the soil. Let's see how that looks. But it's uh, it's messed up that I didn't put it on before I put all the concrete because now i got to play around with this and stuff. Um, I don't know if you remember in one of my videos I had a piece that come up here. Instead of playing games with it, I just snapped it off. And it's um, pretty hard. It took a lot of work to bang this out with a screwdriver, a really tiny um, Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer. It's, it's really thick, it's strong. Um, where, what else? I keep forgetting when I do a video. Oh, I was spray painting some rocks. I don't see the rocks now. This, any kind of like gold spray paint, you spray it over anything, it looks it looks excellent. It makes everything look nice. And I noticed I gave it a spray. It actually spit out um, the spray the paint instead of spraying. And it made some kind of interest in like um, speckles everywhere. There's a couple of places I got to cover up with um, with more concrete because like that. I don't want to see a, sp a spray like that. But um, the speckles sort of looks like like sometimes when you see in um. In rock, you see like speckles of silver, black, gold sometimes. So I, I could give it a shot. I mean, I could just cover it over if I don't like it. Man, I don't think it's gonna kill anything. Oh, here's one of those rocks. Um, get it under light. I mean, get the light from above. I mean, look how nice that looks. It's just a plain rock, and look how how it glitters and stuff. It's excellent. Okay, what else? Every time I video, I forget what I want to say. Basically, um, I made, like I said, I make it made it dark because you don't see those lines. And I mean, you see certain certain places. But I'm thinking, you know what? That's that looks like natural. This is what. That's what it looks like when it when it had sand. I threw sand on it and then I coated it back with uh, more concrete and put another layer. That looks kind of interesting. It looks like um, nice rock. Yeah, I just got to cover up those spray paint where the spray came out. Not the spatter. The spatter looks nice. I like the spatter. It was just hard to do. You had to just barely touch the the spray, but then for some reason it would spatter all over my finger too. So that did, I didn't like that. <clears throat> um, and I didn't say in, in the other videos that this is the part where the pipe was. When I put the spray foam, I just took these pieces and stuck it right into the the what do you call it the foam i put it on a little too late when it was almost drying and it didn't want to stick so i just had to play with it and jiggle it up and down but basically this is all hard i mean this is like let's tap it see how hard that is that's like so strong i don't want to break it nothing but that that's that's hard and I'm liking it. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna plan the bottom. I'm gonna have to start cleaning this off on the bottom so I can stick the tree. I once said I'm not gonna put that um, castle there anymore. I might just build some kind of rock system here, keep it low. The, the, the castle blocked everything out. I don't wanna block everything. It looks pretty nice. But basically, I'm almost getting ready to put the, the acrylic on. Okay.